Yo, 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 what is up, guys? 10.2 got officially announced today. I am so pumped. So season three of Dragonflight is coming. It's called Guardians of the Dream. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff coming with this, this, this patch. It's going to be huge. I'm very pumped. They announced new Druid customization forms that are coming, a new legendary weapon. It's a two-handed axe. It looks awesome. The new pl Mythic Plus Dungeon Pool, a little bit about the raid. Um, some new mount customization like there's literally so much they even released some of the class sets tier sets that are coming so i'm going to kind of go through those with you all the big points here that we we know about so far i will leave timestamps down below in the video that you guys are welcome to check out if you want to jump to a specific section for you that interests you uh but this is really exciting so we're going to jump into it first thing to cover so we'll cover over like an overview of what what was announced so we got a new zone the emerald dream uh from what i what, what i saw here on wowhead it's going to be about the same size as an arm planes and there's some different things that they're bringing into it they didn't announce officially uh what what's going to be coming with it but um it, it looks it looks super exciting it looks like it's going to be really big too i'll also leave the video to this down below too that you guys are welcome to check out it's the official like ptr uh with the devs them talking about it so next is the raid uh, it's Ket Am Amadrisal, I might be saying that wrong, the Dream's Hope, a new legendary weapon, class sets, new public events, Super Bloom and Emerald Bounty, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, we've got Dream Wardens, Renown and Reward, so that makes sense, it always comes with a new patch. New PvP Season and Mythic Plus Dungeon Pool, I'm excited, I actually haven't even looked at the Mythic Plus Dungeons are yet, so we'll kind of see that together here. We got Blood Elf Customizations, I don't even know what these are, but I am very pumped for this, Blood Elf is one of my favorite races. Uh, so whatever it is, I'm going to be excited for it. Dragon Riding updates, new races, mounts, and customizations. This is exciting as hell. And then they are reworking class town updates. I'm assuming they're going to rework Rogue and Demon Hunter. That's really big. Those are two classes that definitely needed it. I was really hoping for Hunter as well, to be honest with you. But this is exciting either way. So next up, let's do the, du the Druid customizations that are coming. So we've got new Moonkin forms that are happening. I mean, these look incredible. I love every single one of these. Looks absolutely fa like fantastic. The big focus on the Emerald Dream, Dragonfly Patch 10.2 includes new customization options for Druid. Balanced Moonkin forms are inspired by stacking stone cards, while other Fury customizations will be earned from the new raid. Fire, fire, what, yo, what? This is sick. More customizations even included, so I'm sure we'll see more in the future here. This is the first visual uh, visual development task I was given to explore the lifestyle and cultures within the Emerald Dream. This included Moonkin, Moonkin the shape-shifting form taken by Balanced Druids, which happens to be my preferred specialization of my main WoW character. There we go, Balanced Druid, nice. I came up with the idea of stacking stone cards. I, I might be saying that wrong. Bring a pastime of the Moonkin. This alludes to their environmentally friendly culture and their history of the Balanced Druid shape-shifting form, as well as providing a fun visual ju juxtaposition uh, between the hulking form of the creature paired with the delicate nature of stacking stones. Oh, a bear, a stag, and a named NPC or a star, the hi hibernating. What the freak? Are you kidding me? If this is a new druid bear form, I'm going to freak out. I love that. Oh my god. I really hope this is a new bear form. This is a new bear form. This is a stag? These look incredible. Oh my goodness. Let's see what else we got here. Um... IC Vane's assistant game director Morgan Day and senior game designer Patrick Scarborough commented that there were also fiery druid customizations that players would earn from the raid. Incentive to do more raid. Uh, fiery theme, some of this may, may have images for as well. Look at the new calf form. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Possibly new dru druid form, right? We see the calf forms as well. The Moonkin form too, that looks incredible. Looks really good. This looks sweet too. Oh my gosh, guys, this looks amazing. I'm very pumped for all of this. Honestly, I was kind of hoping for, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. They're giving me kind of everything I want here. I mean, you got Moonkin form. You got Cat form. You got Bear form. You got a Travel form. This is incredible. I'm very pumped. Let me know if you guys, you know, even play uh, uh, Druid. Uh, if you guys like these concepts, I really hope that this is my favorite one, to be honest. I'm really excited about this. If this is actually a Bear form, I'll freak. I'm pumped. Let me know if you, what you guys are excited for, though. All right, next up, we got Mythic Plus Dungeons here. So let's see. Uh, Mythic Plus Season 3 Returning Dungeons, Dark Heart, Dark Heart Thicket, Black Root Cold, Waycrest Manor, Alto Dazar, Everbloom, and Throne of the Tides. What the shit? Are you kidding me? So obviously we've got Dawn of the Infinites, right? We've got, that's going to be two different wings. We knew that was coming. Dark Heart Thicket, I am pumped for it. That's going to be incredibly fun. And Everbloom, this made complete sense. They were bringing these two dungeons back since they're definitely themed and the same kind of, uh, same kind of theme as this patch. 
it looks good. It looks it looks really good. Uh, let's see, Black Rook Cold, uh, Waycrest Manor, yeah, Alta Tazar, Everbloom, Throw the Tides. These are gonna be great dungeons. Honestly, I'm pumped for every single one of these. Every single one. Uh, I don't actually. I don't know Waycrest Manor that much, but I have to look more into. It. I'll probably do some PTR testing and all that stuff. But I am pumped. I am very excited. What are you guys most excited for? Which dungeon are you looking forward to? I'm really looking forward to probably Everbloom and Dark Heart Thicket. Probably the most. I like these dungeons a lot. Everbloom is so pretty too. It's such a vibe. All right, next up, let's cover the legendary real quick of what we know about it so far. This is what it looks like. It's literally fire act concept art. It's it's what he holds. It's the weapon he holds. It's a two handed axe. So let's see. Patch number two has been revealed with Guardians of the Dream featuring a brand new legendary weapon, a two-handed two axe called Viralath the Dream Render. Man, I, Viralath? Viralath? That's, that sounds sick. No details have been revealed yet as how many players will obtain it, though the axe is said to have been wielded by Firak himself. Uh, the teaser makes it sound like it will be earned via some kind of quest chain rather than dropped. Ooh. Revealed that the legendary will have no class ties. Okay, so it's not a specific class that's gonna. So anybody that can use a two handed axe will have this. They can get this. That's awesome, guys. Members of Netherian update, and we uh, we hope that we can provide something that players really feel like they can earn the axe over time and feel very, really rewarded from their time in the raid. I love that so much. Well, two handed wheelers have seen a number of special effect weapons over the years. Uh, if this weapon is strength, this will be the f their first wep legendary weapon since Shadowmourne in Wrath of Lich King almost 14 years ago. I didn't know that. That's incredible. This axe looks freaking phenomenal. I am very pumped for this. And I love that. Uh, speaking of, I mean, I love my warrior. I mean, uh, the, uh, or DK. Oh my gosh. Looks incredible. I'm a little bummed that it, there's no uh, Druid legendary, but maybe that'll come in like a future patch. Maybe a, a 0.5 patch. You know, a 10.2.5. But I don't know. This is either way. Great. Love it. All right, these are the new class sets that we know about so far, okay? Just posted here. And like I said, I'll try to leave every links to all this stuff down below if you guys want to look at it. But it is on Wowhead. You're welcome to check out. So we've got Season 3 Warlock, Hunter, and Monk tier sets. Okay, uh, I love Warlock. Warlock looks clean. Monk is okay for me. I think it fits their theme pretty well. Uh, I just don't I don't love it, to be honest. But I'm curious to see what the other co color customizations will be in the future. I don't mind this Hunter one. I don't love the helmet. But I like the belt from what I can see here, which you guys could probably see. But the shoulders look freaking phenomenal. What is that? Some kind of dragon shit pulling out of the shoulders? I like that. I love that. Uh, yeah, I dig that. 100%. 100% in Monkrat. Okay, so we got Warrior and Presets. Warrior set looks clean. I love that. It looks very clean. Dude, this preset, though, whoever's designing the presets in, the, in, in WoW lately for this last patch and the one before that, honestly... They are popping. You guys are killing it. Whoever that is, oh my gosh. This set looks phenomenal. Best set so far that I've seen. Uh, let's see. We got Death Knight, Shaman, and Demon Hunter. So Death Knight, Shaman, Demon Hunter. Okay, Death Knight looks incredible. Are you kidding me? This is the Death Knight set? Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks incredible. All right. I like. I, okay, I like the Shaman set. Definitely fits their theme. They've got wolf, spirit wolves on the side. Looks really good. Demon Hunter looks good, looks clean. Look, a lot of this other armor, I love the helmet. Okay, let me first say that. But the rest of it looks a lot like the other armor they already have. But again, it could be color customization where that will change a little bit different. And then they, they show us uh, Paladin, Druid, and Mage. So we got Paladin over here. It looks okay. Fits Paladin, I think, the, the theme there. Uh, Druid looks looks pretty good. Looks looks nice. I'm curious to see what the color, uh, color options are going to be for that one, for sure. Uh, for LFR, you know, normal, heroic, or uh, mythic. And the mage fits the mage. I like the, the hat, bro. That's kind of a bop. That looks really good. Looks really clean. Uh, what do you guys think? Wh which sets do you really like? Obviously, we all, we all like this one, right? Like, oh my gosh. This looks really good. I, I like, honestly, I think Death Knight Priest might be my favorite sets out of, out of what, what's been released so far, but very curious to see the customizations for the other ones as well. So, all right. Next up, let's gonna cover what you're gonna you could get from the raid. Okay, some rewards here. So on Mythic, uh, Fire Act will drop a mount, a Fire Owl mount, which will be the first non dragon 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 riding capable mount. <gasps> oh my god! While there is an official preview, we have the following Fire Owl mount showing in the patch trailer. So that's likely the appearance, guys. What? <laughs> this is sick. This is so cool. Man, I pick a little kid at Christmas just finding new stuff out. This looks incredible. Players who defeat Fire Act on heroic difficulty will earn uh, is ahead of the current of achievement. Receive a Shadow Flame Fire Act manuscript for the Dragon Rain mount. Yes, dude. This is what it looks like. 
looks really looks looks incredible looks very very good looks in, yeah looks clean i'm excited for that too all right last up a little bit about the raid too so uh it's gonna be a nine boss raid including one dragon riding boss you'll be able to dragon ride we're gonna have our first dragon riding fight yes one wing is untouched by fire egg oh, with uh, namu 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 uh, Weaver, the cycle is the last boss. Another wing has been uh, destroyed by Firek, and the last boss is the Fire Lord himself, Smolderon. Oh my gosh! You know, Sage, uh, Sage with one of the leaders of the Druids of the Flame. Oh, nice, dude! Which players will be able to dragon right on? Final boss, Firek. Okay, that makes sense, right? Wow, this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty. This is gonna be a pretty raid. I'm already, I'm, I'm calling it right now. As arrived in the Emerald Dream, intent on exacting his evil plans with the help of Zakali, Jarjin. Jarden and the resurgent druids of the flame. If he claims the world tree, Imager's soul, it would deliver time of fire and chaos to Azeroth. Oh man. Uh, Typical green dragon flight. Here, the energy of the Immo Dream is a potent and abundant resource. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. Uh, nine, blo nine bosses, dragon riding encounter, leading to the ultimate showdown of Fire Egg at the top of Imadrissel, the Dream's Hope. Prepare to mount up, take to the sky with your allies, and come face to face with Fire Egg. Oh my gosh. And the new legendary weapon, the Dream Rider. Look how incredible that looks. Look up. I mean, that looks that looks insane. Uh, what I do know too, uh, a little bit more. I, again, I don't know about the the changes happened to Rogue and Demon Hunter yet. About the Blood Elf customizations either. Uh, and a lot of things are earlier on, but I'm sure we'll find more out as the PTR. So keep an eye on that on the channel. I'll be posting whatever I can when I find out about stuff for sure. Uh, I do know that they're going to do some better things about gearing. So if that was a deterrent for you for getting super, like, quickly, geared quickly, uh, this last patch right off the be beginning of the season, and then you were basically full geared by that, and then they added the myth track later on, thank God. They are supposed to be making it more difficult. So, like, it's not going to be quite as easy to get the gear earlier on, which is good. I think that's a good thing because it was way too fast for people to play this game like crazy. Uh, me included, although I didn't go actually that crazy, but still, it was way too fast. And they're also going to make it more rewarding. There's going to be a track past Mythic or or uh, the heart, the higher track there uh, to be a little bit harder to get to that end level, which I think is great. That's what you want in MMORPG. You want something to be looking out for, uh, to search for. A lot of people have been bored. That's why they're rolling alts. Maybe they don't even want to be bored, but you've reached the maximum capacity of your gear level. Earlier on in the season, they added the myth track. It got better. And then it, again, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, even makes weekly vaults less, less fun to do and, and open up. Uh, but I'm very excited guys. This looks incredible. Very pumped for 10.2. I actually don't know the exact date this is coming out. So if you guys know, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. I, I'm sure we'll find out here soon enough. Uh, let me know what you guys like. Uh, let me know what you guys like about this. Like what you like coming out. If you're pumped for this new patch. If you're going to be coming back if you took a break. Anything like that. Leave it down in the comments below. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. It was kind of fun to kind of experience this with you guys. I am very, very pumped. So I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.